Hey guys and welcome back to some more DayZ, episode 2 in my starting from scratch playthrough series. I'm going to be looting this store for hopefully some goodies, so uh, let's see what we have here. Okay, um, I was hoping for, I'll take a watch even though I can see what time of day it is quite clearly. But um, in stores you'll usually find a bigger backpack which is always useful for storing more supplies and food and drink, although I'm not seeing much as of right now. I'll have to check the back of the store. Um, what have we got around here? Okay, there's a drink there. I'll take this. What have we got here? Okay, we've got Pepsi. I'll take a Pepsi in case I need a drink later on. There's another Pepsi and a Coke, but I'll keep one drink for now. Now, here's another weapon, a Dorwell shotgun, but I've got my AKM, which I'm I'm not sure, actually, if I'm more happy with, because it's hard to find ammo for this AKM, whereas shotgun shells you can find pretty much everywhere. So, what I'm going to do, if you are watch now, is I'm going to put my AK on the floor, open my backpack, and then put the AK, if there's room, um, in my backpack. I'm not sure if that even worked properly. The game's a little bit laggy because it's an alpha. But uh, I've switched it for a shotgun. Now, although the AK is a better weapon to have, it's harder to find ammo in this part of the... Um, down in the south near the coast where I am now. It's harder to find ammo for an AK, so let's see if this is compatible. I think it will be, two round. I'll just take it anyway. So, um, yeah, although the AK is a better weapon, I'm choosing the shotgun. Simply because... I don't want to take chem like that, was an accident. Simply because there's more ammo for it. So, I'm pretty geared up already. I've got a weapon, I've got drink, but I have no food for some reason. Uh, usually, you will find some food or a backpack, a larger backpack in the store. But I have managed to find nothing of the sort, so I'm just going to head over to the church now. Obviously, you'll notice I know where I'm going around this place, but um, generally when you start off, you want to get a map. If you've got another monitor, you can put it on, or you can print it out and have it on your desk. It will help you out a lot. So here's another residential building. I'll just take some more. Oops, I keep taking stuff by accident. I don't mean to. Um, let me just put those road flares back on the floor. Um, I'm not sure if I can use those pellets in my actual... I'll try them anyway. I'll drop them if I can't use them. Okay, chem light as well, get back on the floor. So I've got a few rounds for my shotgun. And uh, is there any food in here? Now I seem to have lost the zombies I had chasing me through the fire station. I just lost them by going through the fire station. Here we go, we have a Makarov. I have a sidearm now. It's not exactly the best sidearm to have, but it's useful because it's not too loud like a primary weapon. And um, you can just headshot zombies and they'll die so you don't have to waste ammo for your primary weapon. Now here's a church, another great place to find some loot, so uh, let's get this checked out. I'll go back in third person mode just because I can. So let's see what we have in here. Uh, there's a crossbow built, but I'm not messing around with crossbows. Some more junk. You see a lot of junk loot, kind of empty bottles, empty cans. Um, what have we got here? It's another macro, but I'll just take the magazines for it. You see they go in a different compartment of your inventory. Um, bandages and sidearm ammo go in there, then your main stuff goes in there and you can have a backpack which should have my AKM but it glitched out and disappeared. But uh, alright, I've got three magazines, four magazines for my Makarov. Now I'm pretty much set. I could do with another bandage if I can see one around here just in case I get hit and I can't get another one anytime soon. What have we got here? Um, oh, M1911 mags, Makarov mags, don't need any of that. I'm not seeing any more bandages in here, so next stop is I'm probably going to head to, when I'm in Cherno I like to go to the apartment buildings in the north by the North Hospital, um, in fact I may as well check out this building while I'm here, some more rounds, I'm pretty certain, and a bandage, I'll take that, I'm pretty certain I can use these rounds, so I'll take some more, oh that zombie's, oh no, right, oh it just hit me out of nowhere. Oops, that sh shot would have been really loud. Um, so this is where a macro is useful. I'm trapped in a room, don't want to waste ammo for my primary weapon. There's a bit of a graphical glitch going on. And you'll see that zombies go pretty slowly in buildings. So you can just aim to headshot them and they'll die instantly. No matter what gun, a headshot is an instant kill. Where's this zombie going? Where are you going? Oh, I've got this annoying graphical glitch. I'm going to fix that. Shift minus flush. Let's hope a zombie doesn't come and attack me while I'm reloading my graphics. Okay, that seems to have fixed that. You know, I'm just going to run out this way because I know it's clear. Okay, so now I'm going to head up to some north residential buildings. And I've pretty pick pretty much picked up all the supplies I need. I've got medical supplies. I've got 
uh, drink. I could do with a bit of food before I basically head north because you'll find the best weapons up in the north of the map and it takes quite a while to get there. Uh, it's quite a lot of running and that's kind of the, um, I think the lure with this game is it takes a while to get everything you need so then you're even more um, cautious of losing it because then you're back to square one. But after a while of playing you'll be able to get your stuff pretty quickly. I mean it's taken me around 20 minutes to get all of the kit I need to uh, head up north but the first time I did this it took me two hours you know I didn't know which building to look in where to go let's see if there's anything worth having in there just on the run pass oh binoculars I'll take those these zombies are gonna get very irritating no oh, keep back stay back stay back oh no I got hit twice there but I'm not bleeding oh they're at the back entrance as well just sneak out the front there binoculars are cool I'll show you those in a minute when I'm not getting harassed by zombies so you can pretty much just run to outrun the zombies I'm gonna run through this red house that should help me lose some more of them on the way up to the north apartment buildings by the other hospital in town so uh, just gonna run through this building have a quick check see if there's anything worthy of having in here let's see I've already been through here there's nothing there's some more shotgun shells but I'm fine for now let's go back into first person mode and head up to the North Hospital. Now, let me just double check I'm going in the right direction. Um, past this hospital, then, yep, okay, I know where I'm going. Sometimes I do get disorientated and head in the wrong direction. So, yeah, guys, a map is really vital. You can actually get an in game map, which is also quite useful, and it takes quite a while of running just to get to where you need to get to. But hopefully, I'll, I'll show you the main places to visit in Cherno. So, if you do find yourselves here, you know what you're doing and where you're going, it's a bit of a trek and I'm going to head through some industry buildings just to show you what they're all about so you'll often get little sheds like that one, I'm not sure if you can actually go in that and for some reason I'm running quite slowly, it's probably because I've been running a lot you can use 3 and 1 on the numpad just to look behind you look either side of you, which I do a lot it's probably most advisable to play in third person because you can kind of see a little bit behind you and you get a wider field of view however a lot of the time I prefer playing in first person mode it just feels a little bit more like you're in the game um, you can add in things like head bob and all that kind of stuff so let's see what we have in an industry building just show you guys, ooh some food, I'll take that um, here, what have we got here, I think this is pasta yep, take can of pasta so there you go, I've got food and drink I'm pretty much set, I could do with a bigger backpack to store some extra stuff in what else could I do with? Um, I mean, a bit more food's always good. Maybe um, a better weapon. Not too sure, but this is the other hospital in Cherno. And these apartment buildings, usually, if you check through all of these apartment buildings, you'll find something really worth having. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to loot one or two of these buildings, see what I can quickly find. And here, these are my favourite buildings to actually loot. So, there, we've got some rounds, my shotgun, if I was looking for more. But you don't need too many rounds, don't go crazy. I mean, that's why I picked the shotgun, because there are rounds in most places. So, what have we got here? I think those would be Makarov mags. Let's just double check. Um, yeah, Makarov mag there. No thanks, I've got a few as it is. I'm going to go back into third person mode. Right. More shotgun shells. Let's see. Um, even more shotgun shells. What have we got here? Uh, Makarov mag. Yep, don't need that. Anything out here? Nope, nothing. Okay, so I'm going to head down and check some more pasta there if I needed some food. I'm going to head down and check another building before the end of this episode. And a little thing about player confrontation. They're always interesting in DayZ. I'm trying to avoid them now just to show you guys how to get set up for basics. But um, right now I'd feel ready to take on another player, provided they don't have you know, some heavy firepower that they've got from military bases up in the north. Um, it's actually really um, good fun to take on military buildings. I'm sure people will have seen that, seen me do that earlier on in my other Daisy series. But uh, every situation is different. You know, there's a lot of wit and ducking in buildings, deciding when to go out, flanking, that kind of stuff. It can get really interesting. So hopefully, I'll be doing a little bit of that later on the series. So uh, just loot this building, and then I think we'll be done for now. So more bandages, drink. Um, Food and drink, I think this will be another macro of mag, most probably. 
Okay, so um, the store that I checked didn't have a lot of the stuff which I wanted to get, which was the food and drink. But now I pretty much have everything I need, so I'm just going to head into this building and show you. In two episodes, 20 minutes, I've geared myself up, ready to fight other people. So I've got a weapon, um, some ammo for it, got bandages, medical supplies, um, food, drink, binoculars. Look, um, if there was some, I wanted to see if there was someone out in that distance, just press B, pull out my binoculars, and... Uh, can we see anyone out there? No, we can't. Just useful, especially if you're using a sniper rifle um, or with a friend who's sniping, that kind of stuff. So I've got pretty much everything I need in two episodes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this recording. And um, when you see me on the next episode, I will be up in the north looting two of the hotspots. I mean, it takes literally a 20 minute run to go up there so I'm gonna not gonna make you watch that I will just rejoin you when I'm up there um, in the north I'm gonna go to Northwest Airfield there's some good loot there so uh, thanks for watching so far hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you on the next one